many different acronyms in accounting. For example, we've got GAAP, G-A-A-P, Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. And we have FASB, F-A-S-B, Financial Accounting Standards Board. There are actually acronyms out there that can help you learn accounting. There are two specific acronyms that I wanna focus on that deal with the types of accounts and which side they increase on and also the four adjustments to owner's equity that will help you master owner's equity. So the first of those two is DELOR, D-E-A-L-O-R. Go ahead and write that down on a sheet of paper. D-E-A-L-O-R, that's O, D-E-A-L-O-R, not L-E-R, L-O-R. I'm of course wearing my poker suit to illustrate DELOR or to remind you of DELOR. Put a big line right in the middle between the A and the L. Put a line right down the middle on your sheet of paper. So what this acronym does, this mnemonic acronym device does, it's gonna help you remember which side does the specific account increase on. Now, debits and credits, you might have heard the term debits and credits. And whether you're a professor or instructor or course, or even if you're in business, whether you need to know debits and credits or, or do journal entries, whether you need to know that, it's still important that you master the idea of debits and credits. And we're gonna master it right here. Debit means left, credit means right. That's all it means, it means nothing else. Debit does not necessarily mean increase and credit does not necessarily mean decrease or increase. That's, it, it depends on the account. Debit just means left, credit means right. Double entry accounting, debit means left, credit means right. That's all it means. All right, so DELOR, D-E-A-L-O-R, is the side, a specific type of account, and there's six main types of accounts, what side it increases on. If it's an increase on the debit side or the left side, or does it increase on the credit side or the right side? Of course, if you know which side it increases on, you know what side it decreases on, because it's the opposite, 50-50 chance. You know one, you know the other. So go ahead and DELOR, right under the D, for DELOR, D is drawing, D-R-A-W-I-N-G, drawing. Put drawing down there. That's the withdrawal account. For the E, put expenses. For the A, put assets. For the L, put liabilities. For the O, put owner's equity. And then for the R, put revenues. So on the left side, we have DEA, left side of the line, we have DEA. Drawing expenses and assets, those types of accounts, they increase on the left side. Now expenses and assets, you know what those are. Those are not difficult to understand. The drawing account is the same as when an owner takes withdrawals from the business. So if you're dealing with owner's equity or um, stockholder's equity, stockholder's equity, you can think of it as dividends. D for dividends, similar idea, okay? If you're, depending on, on how you're learning accounting. If it's sole proprietorship or partnership, it's the drawing account. If it's a corporation, D for dividend. You can use that there. Dividends, withdrawals, similar idea. On the right side, so DEA, those increase on the debit side, the left side. LOR on the right side of your sheet of paper on that line, these accounts, LOR increase on the right side, the credit side. So L for liabilities again, O for owner's equity, and R for revenue. We know what liabilities and revenue are. Owner's equity, that's when the owner invests in the business. So basically when they contribute capital to the business. Same idea. So if you're dealing with owner's equity, I'm sorry, with a, a partnership or a sole proprietorship, it's the owner's equity account or capital account when you contribute. If it's a corporation, it's a paid-in capital, common stock account, preferred stock account, all those different types of accounts. The paid-in capital side of stockholder's equity. So that's really DELOR. Remember, always keep in mind the poker suit. If you ever forget, just Pull out DELOR, D-E-A-L-O-R, write it down, right down the middle between the A and the L. You've got the drawing, the expenses and assets, those increase on the left, the liabilities, owner's equity, and revenue, those increase on the right side. The other acronym I wanna talk about is WIRE, W-I-R-E. So as we know, the accounting equation is assets equals liability plus owner's equity or stockholder's equity if you're learning about corporations. Owner's equity, stockholder's equity, similar idea. There are four adjustments to owner's equity. Sa similar concept for, for also for stockholder's equity. Now, assets and liabilities, students and business people out there that are learning the basics, those are, those are really not difficult to understand. 
But the owner's equity, huh, what is that? What's well, the owner's rights? Again, you're still confused. The best way to understand what owner's equity is from an accounting standpoint when you're first starting out is to look at the four adjustments to owner's equity, which is W-I-R-E. Write it out. W-I-R-E, wire. Withdraws is the W. Investments, that's the I. R for revenues and E for expenses. So write that out. W-I-R-E. Withdraws, investments, revenue, expenses. So above the W, put a minus. Above the E, put a minus. Above the I and the R, put a plus. So two of these four increase owner's equity and two of these four decrease owner's equity. Withdrawals and expenses, they decrease owner's equity. So when you have a withdrawal, it reduces owner's equity. When you have expense, it reduces owner's equity. When you have investments, when you contribute capital to the business, or you have revenue, these are going to increase owner's equity. Now, of course, revenue and expenses, revenue minus expenses increase, or I'm sorry, result in net income or net loss. If it's net income, that net effect is a net revenue, so that's going to increase owner's equity. If it's a net loss, that is a net expense, and that's going to decrease owner's equity. So WIRE, W-I-R-E, withdrawals, investments, revenue expenses, the four adjusted owner's equity, similar concept to corporations if you're learning about corporations and stockholders' equity because the withdrawals are the dividends, revenue and expenses are the same, and the investments, that's the paid in capital type accounts. So really, you've got everything there. You've got DLOR, remember the suit, and you've got WIRE. So with that, make sure you use these acronyms. And there's many more out there. You may have heard so many different others out there, and I'm happy to help with those items. So with that, get into accounting.